All right, Matt. What's up, guys? You're loving this weather. I know you I, I think all of us are for the most part. I mean, it's not like you can say it's cold. We're in May, so when we're below average, it's nice and warm, it's right? It's keeping you in suspense, though. It certainly yeah. is keeping a lot of people in suspense. When will we break the ice on the Santa Cruz River? I don't know, but uh, you need to tell us. So download the News 4 Tucson app, and then go to Icebreak 2019. Put in your info, put in, more importantly, the date, the hour, down to the minute. When you first think we hit 100 big ones at Tucson International Airport. And person that guesses the closest, the soonest, is going to get the grand prize. That's the way we do it all the time. We don't change the rules year to year. So good luck with that because I tell you, looking into the crystal ball, looking into the computer models, looking into everything, just don't see it happening yet. A lot of clouds at four o'clock. Looking from four to five, they start to really deplete from west to east. Got a feeling that eh, that sunset's going to be a beautiful one tonight, just because we have a couple of clouds, but rapidly decreasing clouds from west to east. It was 58 this morning. We were seeing snow flying up in Arizona's high country in the month of May. Just another sort of weird thing out of sorts here with our weather lately 77 the daytime high in the city of tucson today 89 is the average high so 77 today on may 7th last may 7th it was 100 degrees last may 8th tomorrow's date was 101 you see what happened the rest of that week it's going to look completely opposite to what we saw last year for the remainder of this week more on that coming up Live look outside, 74 degrees, west winds at 10 miles per hour, 35 is that dew point, humidity at 24%, mostly into the mid-70s across the city of Tucson at 6 o'clock at night on your Tuesday evening. And yes, low 60s in Wilcox. I mean, people playing some spring ball out in Wilcox likely have to wear a jacket tonight, at least if you're a spectator. Here's the plan for tonight. Upper 60s by 8 o'clock. I think upper 50s as soon as 1 a.m. So we're back to the low 50s. There's that snow, now rain, but we saw some snow earlier in northern Arizona today. Now it's across the White Mountains, seeing some snow flurries. That'll continue to trek off to the northeast, but notice some speckles of snow Wednesday morning, 9 a.m., White Mountains tomorrow. Maybe some more Wednesday evening. This system stays to our north, but it looks like Thursday, a transition day. Friday, some moisture starts rolling in from south to the north, and that will give us a chance of rain right here in the city of Tucson. Maybe even a couple of rumbles of thunder as low pressure, some derivative of it, stays close to the southwest coast, keeping us cool, keeping us unsettled, and keeping us unseasonably cool for this time of year. 50s for lows, a little breezy tomorrow. Again, daytime highs, a little bit warmer into the mid 80s. 70s Cochise in Santa Cruz County. 84 Wednesday, 87 Thursday, 20% chance of showers Friday. Maybe some showers and stormy conditions Saturday and Sunday. 20 to 30% chance, 80 on Monday. Maybe 86 next Tuesday. So we warm back up to 86 a week from today. But come on guys, 86 is still three degrees. Well, by next by next Thursday or Tuesday, that'll be four to five degrees below average. We should be day in and day out in the 90s this time of year. Already heading into mid-May, too. No ice break in sight. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's check in with Paul.